No, what, what you say is very true. That that's the that's the power of of, of art because a, any object that is made is an expression of all the forces that have gone into its making. So, in this case, the artist who made this piece, or let's take one piece that you were looking at, the, the artist who, who made it were themselves the, the product of their culture at a particular time in 15th century China. So, not only did the artist's own thoughts and feelings go into the make of that object, but the artist, him or herself, was like a mouthpiece for, for their culture. So something far bigger than just the local thoughts yeah. and feelings of the artist. That's what I'm... Went. So the artist, as it were, was a, a channel for all these cultural forces, but not just Chinese cultural forces, because China at that time itself was being played upon by other larger mm -hmm. world forces. So th this object is a like a conflux of innumerable influences and the artist is the channel through which those influences come into form. So that is why when you look, and this is the experience that, that you had and I've had many such experience in the British Museum, in the Chinese department particularly, <laughs> <laughs> when you when you look at one of these objects, you're, you're right, you, you see it with your eyes. There is something but, completely different but, going but on. But actually, much more. What you see with your eyes is a, a form. But actually, what is transmitted to you is all the influences that have gone into the make. It's so as your if your body was a sieve. In fact, you, it's you, as you, if your you, body was a sieve. Absolutely. And it's just yeah. going through you. Yes, because the object itself is like a... A vibration. Yes, you that's imagine it, exactly. that the object was a piece of music. In other mm. words, that it hasn't didn't have a physical form. That's exactly what I it mean. It was yes. a vibration, mm. and that everything that had gone into the mm. make of that mm. object was vibrating, a and y your body, which is also another kind of vibration, mm -hmm. begins to resonate in a yes. sympathetic way. Yes. With it. so you so you feel. I used to have this uh, experience. Um, often, when I was traveling, going into uh, museums around the world, and particularly w w with um, ceramics, because that was my was my work, it was the form, so I was particularly sensitive to mm -hmm. to that medium. But I would go into to museums, and I, I would feel that I knew the person yes. who had made the piece. It's I thought, very oh, strange. I, I know him because I, I knew. When I say I knew, it wasn't an intellectual. Mm -hmm. I felt, I, mm -hmm. I, my body knew everything that had gone into the make of the piece. I thought, I know the guy. He must have been my neighbor. He, he was, he's my friend. I, I know him because I, it, it's, it's so familiar. It's almost as if I had made it myself. So it's like, it's, it, you see into the object. You, you don't just see the form of the object, you, you see what has gone, you feel it's going what has gone through. into the it's make of it. It, it, it. You take it into yourself, it, and it's even more so listening to music, or, it's very, or let's say it's very similar listening to music. It also happens with paintings. Um, uh, with painting, with, with any art form, mm. with, with any art form. Yes, any art form, yeah. It's, uh, so. In fact, anything that has been that has been made. Mm -hmm. When I say made, I mean be, 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 be handmade, handmade, mm. or, or machine made. The same is true of machine made objects because you feel that the whole mindset that has gone into mm -hmm. the production of that object. So you you feel you, your your body registers. Mm -hmm. No, it's um. The same is true of language, of of words. That is the, the power of words to convey very much more than their, 
rational meaning. Yes, That's of course, of but poetry. it's more impressive with, with objects no, because I, I agree objects because don't it, speak. It, it bypasses the conceptual thinking. I, I agree with you. That is mm -hmm. the power of art. That, that is why... That's why we have art in our culture. Why do we have art in our culture? It, it's so uneconomical. <laughs> I mean, think of all the... Have a look around this room. That, that, I mean, was it really necessary to... to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at the curtains. You know, the curtains are just meant to keep the light out. Well, was it really necessary to go to all that trouble and to all this, all this trouble? And look at the ceiling. Uh, and, and the cup and the floor, the the, the parquet mm. floor. It's why, particularly you know when times are hard. Mm. Why don't we just have concrete floors and, and mm. breeze blocks and and it's far more economical. But we, we we don't find that that in cultures, even cultures that are very poor, we don't find that art is the first thing to go. On the contrary, we find art is the last thing to go. Mm. It, 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 it's so powerful. As, as Cezanne said, the purpose of art, the purpose of my art is to give people a taste of nature's eternity. It is to take people in a visceral way, in the way that you experience at the British mm -hmm. Museum, to take people in a visceral way to the give people a taste of nature's reality, nature's eternity, that which is eternal in nature. So for me this is not just the five senses, you see what I mean? It's no, but we're, that's, a, that's a different, a sort of different, I, I mean, I, I, I didn't see where you were going to, to begin with, but, but mm. yes, n n it's not, well, it's true we, that we, you it, perceive it, the it object. It is still, it actually it is through the five senses, because the way we see the painting is through sight, the way we touch the bowl yes. is through touch, the way we experience the music is through hearing. Yes, but, but what comes through is exactly, something else, that's it. Absolutely, w what comes through cannot itself be contained by the five senses, absolutely. What, what comes through is, a, is a, a taste of nature's eternity. Something that can be expressed in form, but itself has no form. No. Mm. But the fact that it was the forms of these pieces that conveyed this to you, 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 you didn't describe this experience on the London Underground. Mm. You described it in the Chinese department of the British yes. Museum. There was yes. something mm. about those objects that have a kind of power to yes. deliver something that mm. is not itself no. in form. But it yes. took a particular form to do that. Yes, the manifestation was there. Yes. Yeah, manifestation was there. Yes, yes. Manifest is needed, yes. In that way, yes. Yes, it was bringing into form or the purpose of the form mm. was to deliver something which itself has no form. Mm. When you read a, um, when you buy a new car and you're reading the manual of wh what everything means on the dashboard, the, the purpose of those words is not to deliver nature's eternity. No. <laughs> it's just it to help you, help you drive your car <laughs> safely. So there's, there's a, a, a particular category of objects. Mm. I'm not saying that in the final analysis there's anything, mm. a difference. No, in the final analysis, the, the, the car manual, the mm. Ming Dynasty vase, they're <laughs> all ultimately only consciousness. But mm. at a more relative level, there is a distinction to be made between objects which have a functional purpose. Kettles are used for boiling water. Mm. Car manuals are used for describing how mm. to use a car. But there are a, a particular category of objects called works of art, which don't primarily have a functional purpose. They may have a secondary purpose. Yes. The Ming Dynasty vase was mm. 
Mm. Its secondary purpose was to put flowers in, but that was not the purpose it was created. It, the purpose it was created was to give us a taste of nature's eternity. Mm -hmm. I understand. What was, what was Bach trying to do? To uplift us. What? To uplift us. It's, yes, I think yes. he was trying to uplift. To, 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 to take us to the heart mm. of experience. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's why we have art. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad we I'm glad we met in the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay.